All right, so this week's news talk is a little bit different. I'm actually going to put this out on a podcast. Um, and I have two other people here with me, which is new. Uh, this is Austin. Uh, he's the podcast wizard. I have never done this before. He He's more of a wizard than me because I haven't done it. And he we're, has. we're still trying to figure it out. Yeah, it's, it's a new thing, but he's done this. He's got experience in it that I don't have. I sat in with him on a podcast and... I liked the way it sounded, and it came out good, and he offered to, to help me out with this, so I'm taking him up on that offer, probably a little selfishly, but no, here we go. No, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> and then this is Eli. So, he actually runs my GoPro <laughs> stuff and my camera. He helps me a lot with the actual car review videos. When you, Anytime you see an exterior driving shot, it's most likely... Car chases. Car chases, <laughs> done by him. He's If you see a Explorer in the background following me, that's him. Yep. So... He's a behind-the-scenes guy, and I, I wanted another guy here with me to kind of talk about what we're going to talk about. If you see anyone driving an explorer breaking laws in Fort Wayne, that is not me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's me. <laughs> Stealing his explorer. Um, well, basically what I want to talk about tonight is something that's kind of at the forefront, at least it was about last week. The Cars 3 trailer. Uh, most of you have probably seen it. It's probably popped up in your feed. Um, a lot of people feel like it's really dark they're going in a dark direction with it and they're kind of surprised because they're like isn't this a kids movie that's what i've seen a lot of people is this a kids movie still and people come claiming that he's dying and all this stuff and i did a little just a couple more clicks in through youtube and i found another video that was a little bit more in depth so first of all i want to get your guys thoughts on just the preview itself I think they're hyping it up because <laughs> they know how easy uh, people are to manipulate. <laughs> yeah. Because as soon as they release this trailer, people are like, the death of Lightning McQueen, like going to the complete extreme. Well, in one way, that's good for clickbait. Yeah. I mean, if you think yeah. about it. <laughs> yeah. I agree, agree with Austin. Like, this movie came out 2006, Cars 1. So for a lot of the younger generation, they're a lot older now. So I think they're trying to that group of people to get them excited for this movie yeah and some of the, these people even have kids now so they want to get all of them to get to it and make it interesting for older people too yeah because you were you said 11 yeah i was 11 when it came out and you're 21 now yeah 20 yeah 20 so yeah you're an adult now and you were probably you probably loved that movie yeah. when it came to out, be honest right? i'm actually excited for it. <laughs> I, I can't say i remember ever watching the first one let alone the second one can you give a synopsis of what the first one was about? First one was about, so you got this this race car. You know, he's kind of daring. He thinks he's he's a rookie. and But, you know, he's just murdering you out on the racetrack. And so they're going to this, uh, to this new uh, race field in uh, California. And there's another race car that he has a little bit of a beef with. And so they're like, all right, first one to get to California and so on. Anyways, he ends up getting lost on the way to California. His truck driver's bed falls out, and he ends up getting lost. And he finds himself in this little town, this little desert town, uh, off the Route 69. And uh, 66. 66. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Did he I'm no, so you're, he nervous. Indiana, you're fine. That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> no, and, and he was he was really arrogant. Yeah. You know, he just was way over overconfident. Yeah. Do and, your kids really like cars? Yeah. Yeah, they do. <laughs> like a lot. Like they watch it, like every day. They used to. They used to be. That's you know, what I mean. Yeah, on. like when it. <laughs> but um, yeah, and just kind of continue on. It gets lost. Just kind of make it a little quicker. Gets lost. Gets humbled, yeah. and meets this um, ex racer. Teaches him humbling lessons yeah. and and all that stuff. And that's basically the main story. And then he goes on and yeah. wins the big race, but which, is humble about which it. Which is interesting. <laughs> Because he ends up falling in love with all these people in this town. But the one he becomes really close with is Hudson, who was a previous race car driver. But he was in a wreck himself. And that's how he got out of the game. Uh, he actually didn't even know he was a race car driver until he went to a shed and found all his trophies. He was an amazing racer. Yeah. So, kind of the same storyline as Cars 3. So you From think, point of Hudson. Yeah. So you think they're going to tie it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, that's what that second, the, the actual clip that i sent that made sense to kind of tie in doc hudson with it and yeah that's right and the that. um the cool thing about the guy who played doc hudson the voice uh paul newman he actually was a famous actor turned race car driver hmm. and 
he basically was he, was he any good? Yes, he was very good. He actually won the last race he was in, and he was like ninety some years old. <laughs> yeah, amazing driver. Like, was he in and, a car? Or was he in like a, he was a scooter? In a, no, he was in a Corvette. <laughs> he was what? A very very respectful driver, and he. Um, I hope that to be me when I'm 90. He, yeah. <laughs> but he held off on taking any acting roles until he felt one that was right. And that Doc Hudson role was the last role he ever took. Hmm. So he really had a big hand in the way that that movie went. So when you look at it from that side, that this actually like racing legend um, pretty much had a big play into making that movie a little bit more legit, more realistic. I mean, it, it's a cartoon and there yeah. is that story, yeah. but... But he had a big role in making it interesting and believable for a lot of car guys. Um, and then the second one, I really yeah. like the second one because <laughs> it brings in a bunch of other type of racing. Yeah, into that's it. true. It gets more because the From, first one's more just NASCAR, and then the, the second one gets into everything like, like world racing. Yeah, yeah. What, what do they call that? World the, racing, like WRC. World is that what, where they cross. actually have a, a route? Um, like in Paris, like this, what's the one you always hear like in like Paris? In like the Paris? Dakar? No, that's not Paris. Paris, you're probably just thinking of Formula One race, like popular yeah. Formula One race. <laughs> explain about my uh, knowledge oh, of, of cars. cars. <laughs> <laughs> what is your knowledge of cars? How old is your son? <laughs> four. So he'll be four. And him and I have about weeks. the same knowledge okay. of mechanics. <laughs> yeah. No, he. Um, the second one, it's more of like a made-up premise of racing, but it's got it touches on every different type. Yeah. Um, and then. So this third one coming, they start off by all the all the thing yeah. I've seen in that trailer is just him crashing, really. Yeah, mm-hmm. there's just a couple shots of flyby. They're gonna milk that. Yeah. until the, the day it comes. The cars out. didn't look like NASCAR cars though. Yeah, that was the other thing that they're supposed to be. The that other clip was talking about they're the new and upcoming yeah. young race car drivers, and Lightning yeah. McQueen's actually kind of an old guy yeah. now, like Doc Hudson was. Mm-hmm. I mean, I can't really tell, but it looked like from the back. And one shot where the, what was the Ignite car, almost looked like a Le Mans car for a second. Yeah. I don't know if we're reading a little too deep <laughs> if yeah. we go Le Mans car. But, but those, I get what you're saying. Those aren't the same, the, the other cars that were in that video, those aren't the same type of cars that are in the, the Indy 500, are they? I don't Maybe. think so. Was, was it open? What Did are they the have ones any open wheel? I didn't see any open Is that the one wheels. where it's like flat and it kind of... the the tires stick out quite a bit. IndyCar is an open wheel. That's an open wheel. And then Formula Formula 1 is a lot like that, too. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to put a check here for me. (laughs) But, yeah, there was another video (laughs) that I shared with you guys. I'm going to pull up the title real quick. Uh, So, if you want to go find it and have a good laugh, you can. I don't care if you click off this and do that. Um, The title is Cars Cars 3, Everything We Know, 5 Creepy... (laughs) Was it 5 Creepy... (laughs) Oh man! Theories, five creepy theories, and he's got a hundred thousand views on this. He's entertaining, so we're doing something <laughs> wrong, is what you're saying. <laughs> but this guy's theory is so left field, way off base that it's insane. And I told these guys earlier, I think he smoked some pot and then watched the first two movies and then all the little mini movies that Mater was in. And came up with this theory. So you got to go watch this. I hate to plug this guy's video because it's so ridiculous, but you have to go see it. And just the theories that this guy comes up with <laughs> is incredible. The, um, so the love interest of Lightning McQueen. Uh, Queen, McQueen. McQueen. Mc, yeah. McQueen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the his love interest in himself uh, make a child, a baby mater. A right? baby mater, which is... <laughs> yeah. okay. So a NASCAR with a Porsche... Somehow makes a baby mater. mater. Well, supposedly he time traveled. Somehow <laughs> ended up in between a Carrera and a NASCAR. No, what I didn't understand is, did he say, like, he encouraged them to make a baby? Like, was this, like, Back to the Future style? Where... I don't I don't remember. <laughs> but somehow he tied to try and... Planes? That movie? I don't know if you guys saw the movie Planes with he Dane Cook. He kind of sidestepped that. He was yeah. just like... It's here, but it's not. He's a, <laughs> It'll be there. That had nothing to do with his point, nothing. I don't think. No. I think he was just saying, it could happen. I just love how NASCAR plus Porsche equals truck. <laughs> <laughs> but if that really happy, happened, I'd be more so questioning he, he Mater. Be, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cheating on yeah. That career has some explaining to do. <laughs> yeah. Would that be the uh, ugly baby scenario? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. 
is is that a boy? Well, but that theory gets even better because supposedly Mayer's in a wreck and gets turned into the race car going against his dad. Yeah, he gets rebuilt and then yeah. becomes this dark igniter. <laughs> yeah. Like Darth Vader. Yeah. yeah. He tried to throw... He said Star Wars. Star Wars. <laughs> he, oh, that in there. Star. he did, because I think he was trying to say, like, cars is like Star Wars, and he's just like, see? Star Wars, Star... Car Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. <laughs> Very interesting person. <laughs> Very interesting person with a hundred thousand views on one ridiculous video. Was he able to monetize that? Was there? Yes, it was monetized. <laughs> How did it Disney was... not get like? Um... <laughs> yeah, I don't know all the legal <laughs> jargon you have to jump through. <laughs> Just to, because he was caught. showing a bunch of clips and stuff. Yeah, that's from, what I'm. Yeah. Even if you show like a picture of cars, like you can say cars and yeah. it be public, but the the fact is when you have a video and it says. Has their artwork on it. That's when it becomes copyrighted. <laughs> yeah, yep. I wonder if this is an inside thing. Maybe he works for Pixar. And is like, I'm just going to mess with a bunch of people today. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would be funny. Under but you could tell when he got excited. Like he started to like speed up his speaking, yeah. and he was getting all excited. But <laughs> <laughs> I love his voice. It made it sound like he was trying to make it into a creepy video. Yeah. Like it was like a creepy pasta. Or... I have like to take you in deeper. <laughs> I think he said that. <laughs> No, no, please. I don't want to go any deeper. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So the next little bit I want to talk about, um, you might not have much to say on this, I'll be honest, but the Dodge Viper. I'm sure you know that it's done, basically. They're done making it. Yeah, that's what they said. Yeah. So the last model year is 2017. They said they were done taking orders, I think, at the end of October, but they've gotten more orders than they wanted. So yeah. now I think they're reopening up the orders for just basically the ACR alone. Yeah. So do well, you think the Viper is actually truly gone? I don't. I think I think it might be gone for a little while. I think what might be happening is uh, because, I mean, that thing is just a gas monster. Um, so I think they might be re-engineering the car and just not telling anyone. I think it might be gone for a little while, and then they're going to be like, surprise, all new Viper comes out. I wonder if it might even come out as a hybrid, or maybe maybe they're actually killing off the Viper itself and never going to use the name again. But we maybe will get another I hope high get performance. A, I hope we get a Hemi Cuda back. A Hemi Cuda? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. A Hemi Cuda. <laughs> that's cool. just another. That's just another challenge, yeah. though. Well, it sounds cool. <laughs> yeah. Why would um? Why would why would they scrap a Viper? Like why would they? I think Eli's got a really good point with. All the emissions things going forward because I can't remember the year deadline. It was like 2019 or 2018. Yeah. Did they did they that, cheat on something and see like VW and they're just like, no, oh, hold on a second, no, they. Well, but yeah, I mean it's a gigantic V10. Yeah, it just eats tons of gas. But what the thing is is everything by 2018 has to meet like if you have if you're a car brand or a car manufacturer, yeah. over the board you have to meet an average of fuel economy emissions and mm -hmm. all. Yep. Those things combined together. Hmm. So if you have this monster V10 that's drinking fuel and putting out terrible emissions, <laughs> that's throwing off your your average big the, time. The interesting <laughs> thing though about Dodge though is that no, they're I mean yeah, this Viper I mean it's just huge gas monster, but they don't have a lot of other cars to offset because it it's overall over all their cars that meets that quota. They don't really have a whole lot of fuel efficient cars. We got Challengers, we got chargers we got trucks i mean there's not a whole lot but there's not a whole lot that we pay attention to they got yeah. the dart they have the the 200 which that was i heard was going to get nixed but i'm not 100 percent sure if that's actually going to happen so they have a range and since it's i don't know if it counts for the whole thing as like fca yeah. that fiat chrysler america yeah because then they have fiat in there with their those little 500s and those get good gas mileage so oh, if those are all lumped in charlie sheen favorite charlie <laughs> sheen favorite <laughs> remember those commercials when he's driving his mansion with a little fiat no <laughs> okay no i didn't see those no. but i think eli you think you're onto something they might yeah. just kill the viper and then come out with another because if they kill that they don't have yeah. anything com to compete yeah well that's why the corvette Ford has all that eco boost stuff yeah because of all that yeah so maybe we'll see a twin turbo V6 Viper in the future. 
That'd be weird. That would be very weird. That'd that be will, weird. That I don't think weird. they'll call it a viper. No. <laughs> like, I think you're on to something, but I don't think it'll come back as a viper. What do you think their new name, brand, is going to be? I don't know. Because viper has been so iconic for so long. Yeah, 01 it came out. Yeah. When's the, last, uh, when's the last brand they X-Nade like that? Like, if they would do with viper. Would they get rid of... Well, they got they got rid of names like the Sebring, yeah, and the Advent. I don't know. Did they get rid of the Avenger? They may have, but yeah, the Sebring were... became the 200C. Yeah. Um, Cuda. <laughs> the Cuda that's been gone for a long, long, long time. Cuda. And yeah. so they've done that a lot. Like the Viper went away for a few years and then came back, but. So it it, has, it could te- it could technically still come back. They could bring it back to life. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I wonder if it's I wonder so, if it's a demand issue. That's the thing, because a lot of people weren't buying Vipers because yeah. they were a little bit overpriced. That's what people were saying for what you got. Yeah, it's and true. And then now that they've said that they're discontinuing the Viper, the orders are maxed yeah. out. They're, everything's, all the allocations are spoken for. Yeah. There's even, I heard another dealership down somewhere down south that bought 100 Vipers yeah. to say goodbye to the Viper, and they're going to do a couple like custom-built Vipers. That's going to be cool. <laughs> and it's just... So I hate to see it go. Yeah, I've, I've ridden in the newest Viper and it's amazing. Yeah, I mean it's just mind-bogglingly fast. And like yeah. I don't know, I hate to see it go. Yeah, it's gonna be sad. Well, I know like like when the Corvette came out, the new Stingray body style, like that thing's been selling like crazy. I see them everywhere now. Yeah, the Viper, I just don't see people don't driving. See them. Yeah. I don't see them. Like I'll see one every blue moon, but I mean, those Stingrays, they're everywhere. Yeah, but I imagine production numbers are probably quite yeah. a bit different too. Compare, when you compare from a Viper to a Corvette. I oh. actually love the body styling of the new Viper. I think it's a beautiful design. Yeah. I don't really care for the LEDs and the headlights. I think they look silly. Yeah. But other than that, that's... I heard the uh, side exhaust, too, gets extremely hot. Yeah. yeah. But, but it looks cool. Side exhaust is awesome. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's what I heard. Yeah. yeah. Use that, use Burn your <laughs> ankle. <laughs> <laughs> and then, okay, next little thing I want to talk about. This would be interesting for me, at least, to hear two different opinions on it. One a car guy, one a not really a car guy. The guy who drives a car. <laughs> guy who owns and drives a vehicle yes. to go from A to <laughs> That's B. perfect. Yeah. <laughs> so, autonomous cars. What's your feeling on those, Austin? I want to get I let your... um, Eli. <laughs> you don't even know anything about autonomous cars? I thought you would be I all know, on it. I, I know. You're every just um, tech guy. <clears throat> Let me. Uh... Okay, he can look up what he wants to look up. So Eli, what do you? <laughs> I think it's interesting. Uh, I think there's a lot good for it and a lot going for it. I know because uh, I went to uh, I went to mechanic school for a while, and they were saying about the trucking industry mm. that that's going to be huge for the trucking industry. Yeah, someone just just recently released a full electric truck. Yeah, I mean it's just like. Last week. I mean, it's, there's a lot of good to it, but I love driving, so... There's that's, that. I just hope I hope the passion of driving doesn't die off. I think the writing's on the wall that it will. Yeah. I don't know if we'll see the point where it's illegal. Yeah. Like you and I, like, it, you know, yeah. I don't think we'll ever... I don't think that'll happen in our lifespan. Kind of like what but, happened with manual transmission and automatic transmissions. I mean, once automatic came out, I mean... Manual started, at least in the U.S., started dying off. I know a lot of people who are my age who don't even know how to drive a manual. Yeah. And it's sad. And there's a lot of people your age in big cities who don't even care to drive. Yeah. They, it's sad. Like, I yeah. love driving. <laughs> yeah. Like, so do, you, do your guys' grandparents use uh, phones pretty savvily? Not my savvily. grandpa <laughs> had, a, had an iPhone. He was pretty good with it. Can you imagine but. your grandparents trying to get out of a parking spot, turning on their car, and uh, selecting that's, a destination? So, I mean, the Apple car it should be easy enough to where whoever owns it can get in it and say, take me to work, stop at Starbucks on the way. So, <laughs> really, people that, like an elderly person, it's not they're going to have to like connect with their phone and play with it like that. They'll just say where they want to go. It'll back out for me. It'll do everything. I mean, I'm pretty sure they'll have it to where it'll even just pull up to their front door and then drop them back off. My petunias. Yeah. And they'll just go, it'll go park itself. So that Casey, won't... can you help me? <laughs> my car drove in my petunias again. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Jobs, can you? <laughs> Steve, is that you? Do I have? 
can you explain to me where my, my car's going? I'm inside of it right now. And then Siri will come back, I do not understand. <laughs> Web searches for where am I? <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, I think it's interesting, but like I said, uh, I just hope the, the love of driving doesn't die off. Yeah. Because I mean, I know there's nothing, I mean, I have dreams about driving my Carrera. Like, I just, it's like, it's what I live for. Yeah. <laughs> I've never had a dream I have, oh, man, about I have driving a car. I cannot wait to get in my truck, put it on the defrost, put it in reverse. Yeah. I mean, I'd be sitting at work, in the office, I'm just like, I cannot wait to get in my car. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know. I remember that, too. Like, when I first bought the Civic Si sedan I had, it was yeah. like, that's what I was looking forward to after work was getting yeah. my car and driving home and you have a bad day you just smoke your tires in front of the office and... <laughs> I, I completely thought you were going somewhere else with that <laughs> no and but for me like right now where we're at with autonomous driving right now it's pretty much it's pretty limited they have yeah. lane assist and and radar cruise control and, and they keep all that well, yeah what do you do if like a deer jumps out in front of your car is there a better chance it would save you or is there less chance of it saving you? Like, uh, like when you're in the car, if you're a fairly good driver, you know how to avoid like a right. deer or to hit your brakes just right or know the <laughs> crashing the right way. <laughs> right, and that's. But I think pretty much that they're gonna. Right now, we're in the early stages of it, so you see, like, you hear Tesla's rear-ending certain things. Like, there was a recent one yeah. where a Tesla rear-ended a parked car. Yeah. Because there was a moving car in front of him, then they got over, mm-hmm. and it wasn't. It didn't know that parked car was there, and it just plowed right, right into it. Mm. So there, there's things that they're working through now. But right now, you can turn it off yeah. and take over and still enjoy yeah. driving. Like the GTI I drove, it did the the lane assist, the right. radar cruise control, and all that stuff you could turn off, and it was still a fun car to drive. But with where we're going, like with the Apple car, yeah, and what they want it to be, like what I've heard, is they want this Apple car. To connect with all the technology Everything. around. So, like, if there's a guy with a cell phone in his pocket, it's going to know that. And, it's amazing. <laughs> and it'll just basically be able to pick up a human wow. that's two blocks down the road that you can't even see. But he know, that car will know that human's yeah. there and where they're going. And so it's going to be just everything Interesting. will be linked I mean, with each other. They would have to make this thing, though, so foolproof. Because if it gets to the point where people stop learning how to even drive, and then if something goes wrong with the system, the system's down, and you're on the freeway, and you don't know how to control your vehicle, that's going to be pretty scary. Yeah. Because yeah, cool. <laughs> right now, like the BMW, the, the new 7 Series, it has a lot of autonomous driving like oh, yeah. the Tesla, but you have to have your hands on the wheel. It doesn't like you taking the off, right. off the wheel, because they want that human there right. to take over when the system just gives up so you drove in a lot of uh cars that have a lot of the park assist and whatnot is it scary letting the car take over it is a little bit i've driven a few where where when i'm on the highway doing the lane assist i'll just sit back and just let go and some of them are really good at doing it nice gentle and smooth and then there's others where it jerks back and forth and if i would have just let it go and if it was slick out it probably would have spun the car out and i've been told that that's adjustable but I was never shown how to adjust it, so hmm. I hope that if it really truly is adjustable, that people are getting shown right. how to adjust it. Because it was, I think it was more designed if your hands are on the wheel and you're drifting, it's going to kind of like, hey, yeah. wake up. But if you just I are feel, stupid. Like, I feel like these cars <laughs> are more for the new generation of driving. Because I mean, I feel like me, like based off what you said, like I feel like it'd be hard for me to get used to a car doing the driving for me. Yeah, but, but I feel like if I had a kid, he's that's all he's going to know. All right, I'm not going to lie. If you look at the Google one, it looks like a 1940s English cop car. Yeah, that's <laughs> the other part that I worry about with these autonomous cars is nobody cares how they look. Like the ones, the pictures that Apple actually shared with Motor Trend, and they had a, an article on on the Apple car. Right. It's just a pod. Yeah, they really are more focused. Yeah, car on, pod. Yeah, I know. I said. Yeah, yeah. I said they shot themselves in the foot when they already made something oh. named the iPod. Because <laughs> yeah. now they have a pod. Where, where are we at? Where do, who am I? Apple CarPlay or Apple CarPlay? That's actually a system. But, um, but no, it like, and the guys that are on this project that they talked about in the Motor Trend article. I already did a news talk on this, but who cares? Um, 
these guys own like an Aston Martin DB5. These guys are car guys, and they've designed this, this box. It's just yeah. a box of a car, and it's you see like ugly. The, was it the Scion? No, it's worse than that. Like, <laughs> it's just so bad. Just search Apple Car, and I'll show you the one that it actually they they share I mean, with Motor Trend. You know what? That's why I like Tesla. Because Tesla, it looks good. they design beautiful cars. But, you know, Apple technology is amazing, and so is Google technology. So maybe they should do a team-up and just let Tesla worry about the, <laughs> the, the power. I don't think Elon the... Musk will team up with anybody. He's got his own oh, yeah. evil this is plan. <laughs> nope, keep going. That's too pretty. No, it was that one. Go back to that. that one. <laughs> yeah. That's the one that they shared with. Is that beige? It's <laughs> how can you drive an it's Aston? Like, it's like skin colored car. How do you drive an Aston Martin and be like, I want to design a car and make this? I don't get it. I really don't. Do not get understand. It. But that's the only that's the other part that concerns me because the people that want this, that's that's right up their alley. They don't yeah. care what the car looks like. They just want it to come up, pick them up, and look pretty on the inside. Yeah, that's where they want it to look good hmm. and be comfortable. And same with the Prius. <laughs> Prius is just that I'm Prius sorry, that. is so ugly, so ugly. <laughs> people, yeah. a lot of people have said the designer should have pe- put the pen down because it's over designed. It's so ugly. Yeah. Is that the 2017? Yeah. Oh, I just burped right into the microphone. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Do you yeah. feel better though? A little bit. I don't, I don't understand. Like when they come out with these green smart cars, these autonomous cars. I don't know why ugly goes through like. It doesn't have to be ugly. No one said they claim if you go it's make for, a green car, it has to be ugly. They claim it's for aerodynamics, but is that it? The new yeah, that's the new Prius. Isn't that hideous? It looks like it looks like somebody like Indiana Jones was running through the back of the car, and the boulder came and like fell on top of the back and just kind of I mean, squished it. Aerodynamics. So I mean, Ferrari has a wind tunnel that they test their cars in for aerodynamics. Yeah, and their cars are beautiful. Yeah. I've, I don't, I don't understand. I don't get it either. I don't get why they're so hideous. Hair. So ugly. Your blonde hair flowing through the, yeah. the fan. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, with the blonde hair flowing through the, the wind, we're going to end tonight. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Um, check out carb- carguments.net. That's my website. And you can get shirts. I'll put a link below in the description for the shirts where you can buy those shirts, sweaters, cell phone cases. And unfortunately, people have asked me for hats. My logo will not fit on the hats with the website I'm using to make my merch. So, sorry. I apologize. So, yeah. Thanks again, guys. Have a great night. And thanks for watching.